very exciting. You know, it's great to see, you know, that your summer really paid off. And I see it for a whole bunch of guys on our team. You know, guys really took the time and put in the work this summer. Everybody's looking better. Like as a team, where we worked last year, conditioning were way levels past that. Now. So that's always great. That's the first thing. Sure. Yeah. I remember two years ago, freshman, just all oh, the today. I feel great, you know. I, you know, they put the vet tag on me, but I feel great. I really do. You know, I, I've grown a lot since I was that, you know, 255 chunky boy. I think, I think, you know, it's going great. Development really going good right now. What are you now? What's your I'm 233 right now. Uh, How Six one and a half. 233 last year we played at? Like uh, 245. So you lost the That's what right. I had to, you know, be more precise, be able to run longer, be able to endure a whole game. You know, it's about full effort every play, and if I could do that, it would be a bad boy. Can you help the younger I just tell them to keep working, you know. Um, I remember what it was like being a young guy too and really not having the older guys that we have now. So, you know, I think when you have the right guys ahead of, you know, the younger guys to lead them, that's how you build dynasty. And that's what we're building right now. Since you're a guy, working back, uh, Charles Perry was out there kind of with you guys again, DJ. What did you see from them coming off their injuries and, and how have they responded? Yeah. I've seen the hunger, you know, they've been itching to get back. I've been talking to these guys since they've been away, you know. And I've seen them put in the work, you know, getting their bodies back to where they need to be being better than 100%. When you get hurt, you know, the plan is to come back stronger, and they definitely did that. I mean, I see D-Jack running after quarterbacks, like, you know, he's doing it with a purpose, and I'm really proud of him. CP, too. You know, CP's been running around. I'm just happy for my guys. Since you're the here, the ranking, there's a different set of expectations on you guys. How do you get this group of guys to not let that take away from anything you're doing? We don't care about the rankings at all. It's the standard. That's the only thing we live by. We fell short of the standard last year, but we're going to keep working towards it. You know, every year we get better and better, and we just stick to the standard. That's all we have. Did the guys come, the veterans come back and spend the time? Some of them have been looking at those last two We all sat down and watched the TV copies, the film copies, and the drawing views, everything. You know? And watching those three games, I think I watched those three games more than any other game of our past season. The Clemson game, I watched at least four times. Uh, the Wisconsin game, the Pittsburgh game, and I know everybody else did it too. It was, it was, what was the so what, what, what did you see? Well, for one, you know, we didn't have the depth that we have now. We were really beaten up by the end of the season. Um, a lot of younger guys had to step up, and, you know, that proved to be you know, a little bit of a, uh, our shortcoming. Well, it's great to have Zach back. He's, he's a fire on that defense. He always has the attitude every day. You know, he uplifts me. When I'm not feeling my best, he uplifts everybody. It's just great having him back. Check. I know it's, it's such a long way from even this, but does it even begin to cross your mind that maybe this was, this might be the last run the three of you guys have together? Does that Negative. even cross your mind? No, man. I don't think about, I don't think about the end of the season. Uh, Coach Diaz likes to say, I don't know if he'll like me saying it, but you don't worry about the guy with the gun. There's a guy with a knife right in front of you. you know, I'm focused on LSU, uh, playing them in Dallas. And that's what I'm focused on right now. How much excitement is there when that's the opponent? There's always an excitement for the first day, but when you know it's LSU, you know it's a marquee game, you know everybody's going to be watching, how much does that add to the next round, the next play? It just adds to the chip on our shoulder. You know, we already know, we don't have to look on social media and know that people already have this counted out. You know, we just, we expect that. We just grind. You know, we don't pay attention to any of that. Blue collar. 